Hi, I'm David Baxter. And I'm Kasha Thompson. And welcome to Cabarrus this week. And this week we got something special for you. We're at the Cabarrus County Household Hazardous Waste. Kasha's going to tell you all about what's going on out here. There's a lot of activity. Got a lot of other great information on today's show. So if you miss any of the contact info, all you got to do is go to cabarruscounty.us slash on CTW. It's right there. Cabarrus this week visits the Cabarrus County Household Hazardous Waste Facility on Collection Day. It's located at 246 General Services Drive in Concord to learn about materials that should never end up in the trash or recycling bins. Nail polish, oven cleaner, paint, pesticides, kitchen cleaners, and other chemicals should never go in your trash bins. Instead, bring items here to the Household Hazardous Waste Facility. In addition to hazardous materials, the facility accepts recycling, TVs, and other electronics and batteries. Looking for a fresh coat of paint for a room in your house? Residents can also make an appointment to browse the paint room and take paint cans at no charge. The facility collects household hazardous materials on the first Wednesday of each month from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and the third Saturday of each month from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. And we're going to talk to Kevin Grant, Sustainability Manager for Cabarrus County, about a cool new tool you can mm -hmm. use straight from your cell phone and learn all about what you can and can't throw away and what you can and can't recycle and how to reduce waste. We recently introduced our Cartology app that you can access via the county webpage or you could download it on an app on your smartphone. It's a wonderful application that will give every county resident the ability to know what's recyclable and where to take the item. The added benefit as well is if you're a City of Concord resident, City of Kannapolis resident, or you live in the unincorporated portion of the county, it does provide trash and recycling schedule. Knowing what goes in the cart and what you could bring to us for recycling. An example is for your residential cart, it's best that you just put paper, aluminum cans, plastic bottles, tin cans, and cardboard. Um, there's items that you can bring to our recycling convenience centers such as electronics, used TV sets, scrap tires, and appliances. For more information on the Household Hazardous Waste Facility located at 246 General Services Drive off Highway 49 in Concord, Call 704-920-3209 or visit cabarruscounty.us. Now, our landfill faces space limitations and the recycling industry is going through a lot of changes, you know, so learn how this impacts our habits, our tax dollars, and explore how technology can help you become a better steward of the environment during Government 101 Recycling Crunch. Now the Recycling Crunch is on Wednesday, May 22nd from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. in this free interactive workshop. That well, includes lunch too, so hey, that's a good deal. Now class size is limited to 20 participants, so you need to sign up soon because it fills up pretty quick. For more information or to register for Government 101, email outreach at cabarruscounty.us or just call 704-920-2266. The Cabarrus County Senior Games is off and running and the competitions are heating up. The competitions are more than sports. Mm -hmm. Silver art showcases artistic talent in literary and visual arts. You can view the submitted works before judging through April 25th at the Cabarrus County Senior Center in Concord. Take a look at the works before they are judged. Right. For more information on the Silver Art Showcase through April 25th at the Cabarrus County Senior Center in Concord, call 704-920-3484. Now, the warmer and longer days, okay, this is nice, means it's time to open the paddle boats in the mini golf at Franklis Park. Now, you can enjoy these amenities on Saturday and Sunday, noon to 7 p.m. Tickets are just $2 per person, and kids, five or younger, well, they're free with a paid adult, of course. Sure. Now, enjoy Franklis Park from the water, or you can just kind of sink that hole in one. Yeah. For more information on paddle boats or mini golf at Franklis Park on Saturdays and Sundays, noon to 7 p.m., visit cabarruscounty.us slash ALP, or just call 704-920-3484. Rowan Cabarrus Community College's Department of Fine Arts continues their partnership with Clearwater Artist Studios for the Spring Student Art Show. The public can view the various works for students through May 2nd. For more information or to view a complete schedule for the Rowan Cabarrus Community College's Department of Fine Arts Spring Student Art Show at Clearwater Artist Studio, call 704-784-9535. 
Now, more than 150 cities are going to compete in the 2019 City Nature Challenge with three goals in mind. Okay, now we're going to see which city can make the most observations of nature, mm -hmm. find the greatest number of different species, and engage the most people in this worldwide challenge. Now, kicking off on April 26th, at 12.01 a.m., so you set your clocks, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and each time zone. Now, the challenge runs through April 29th at 11.59 p.m. Now, the global event calls on current and aspiring citizens, scientists, nature, and science fans, and people of all ages and education backgrounds to observe and submit pictures of kind of wild plants, animals, fungi, you know, run out there and get your fungi shots, okay, <laughs> using the free mobile app Naturalist. Identification of photograph species will be crowdsourced on the online community April 30th through May 5th, and results will be announced on May the 6th. So, for more information, 2019 City Nature Challenge, April 26th through the 29th, visit citynaturechallenge.org or call 704-920-5379. Cabarrus County leaders want the community's input on four questions that will set the county's business strategy over the next three to five years. Mm. Questions are what are the key strengths of Cabarrus County government? What services or programs provided by Cabarrus County would you like to improve? What are the critical issues that Cabarrus County needs to address over the next three to five years? And what do you see as key priorities Cabarrus County should establish in its strategic plan? Well, to gather input on these important questions, the county scheduled a series of workshops in April and May. Each session will last less than two hours and includes exercises that give participants equal opportunity to communicate their vision for Cabarrus right. County's planning and resource allocation. While there's no requirement for knowledge of the county or its services, though if you watch the channel, you know what we do. That's right. Uh, you can come and give your opinion. There's a good chance that a lot of participants will also get valuable information about services they didn't know were available to themselves or their family or their community. So for more information on Cabarrus County's Town Hall Forum, visit CabarrusCounty.us, visit our Facebook page at Cabarrus County, or call 704-920-3310. And gosh, it's also a great opportunity to just meet some of your neighbors in Cabarrus County. That's right. Yeah. Now, don't become a victim of fraud. A representative from the State Employees Credit Union will give an informing presentation on Wednesday, April the 17th, 10 a.m. at the Kannapolis Branch of the Library. Learn about common fraud schemes and how to protect yourself from them. So for more information on Fraud Prevention 101, April 17th, 10 a.m. Kannapolis Branch of the Library, visit CabarrusCounty.us or just call 704-920-1180. Journeys Magazine is your guide mm. to active living and learning in Cabarrus County. The Spring 2019 edition is now on stands across the county and online. You can pick up a printed copy at the Senior Centers mm -hmm. in Concord and Mount Pleasant. You can find the online version at CabarrusCounty.us slash seniors. Or you can also find it at the Government Center, right. at our libraries, everywhere. In the spring edition, you can learn about the popular sport of pickleball, right. <laughs> curbing the diabetes ep epidemic, and other timely information. We've even got a new exercise segment in there. So for more information on Journeys Magazine, email outreach at CabarrusCounty.us or call 704-920-3484. One of my favorites, Spam's Kitchen. Yeah, a little recipe in there. Okay, now are you a veteran or know a veteran in Cabarrus County? The county's accredited veteran services offices located at 363 Church Street North in Concord provides veterans and their families free assistance navigating the U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs programs. That includes compensation, you got veterans and survivors pensions, education, you have home loan guarantees and many other quality of life services. And a food pantry is among the services that will benefit this location. Now, donors and recipients will have the opportunity to park near the door, which is much more convenient than where it was, with the assistance of staff and conveniently drop off or load items. Now, the Veteran Services Office operates Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. So for more information about Cabarrus County Veteran Services Office, visit cabarruscounty.us slash vets. To schedule an appointment, just call 704-920-2869.
Enjoy a night at the movies at the barn at Franklis Park for $5. Those ages 13 and older can enjoy Avengers Infinity War. Ooh, that's a Friday, great movie. <laughs> April 26, 6 to 9 p.m. Pizza and popcorn are included in the price. Registration is required. So for more information on movie night at Franklis Park, April 26, 6 to 9 p.m., visit cabarriscounty.us slash register or call 704-920-3484. I know that's pretty exciting because you see that one and then there's a new one coming out very, very soon in April. So, you know, just get you right into it. Now, you can... They hey, might hey. have actually planned that. They could have. That might have been a strategy. Uh, who I does? don't know. Okay. Now, you can become part of Candyland game during the life-size Candyland. Now, that, that's got to be awesome, mm -hmm. okay? Saturday, April the 27th at 11 a.m. at the Kannapolis Branch of the Library. You get to walk down that colorful road through the Gumdrop Mountain and the Peppermint Forest. I see these visuals already. Mm -hmm. And you can search for your kind candy. So for more information on life-size Candyland, April 27th, 11 a.m., Kannapolis Branch of the Library, visit cabarriscounty.us slash events or call 704-920-1180. Bears County Active Living and Parks Department declares the month of May Scout Month at the parks. Throughout the month, programs and events will focus on earning badges for Boy and Girl Scouts. Girl Scouts can participate in a Caring for the Environment program on Saturday, May 4th, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. at mm. Camp Spencer. The cost is $10 for the entire day and includes lunch. For more information or to register for Girl Scout programs May 4th, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. at Camp Spencer Park, Visit CabarrisCounty.us slash register or call 704-920-3484. Now, Cabarrus County governmental offices will close on Friday, April the 19th, in observation of Good Friday. Now, this includes the Cabarrus County Governmental Center, Department of Human Services, Cabarrus County Construction Demolition Landfill, right here, the Cabarrus County Household Hazardous Waste Recycling Center, all the libraries and the senior centers. Now, all the Cabarrus County parks will operate on their normal operating schedule on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Cabarrus County libraries will remain closed on Saturday, April the 20th. Republic Services curbside garbage and recycling collection for residents in the unincorporated parts of Cabarrus County will operate normally. Now, I know we've got a lot of information on today's show, so if you miss any of the contact info, all you got to do is go to cabarruscounty.us slash on CTW, and the info's right there. Sign up for our newsletter. Go to cabarruscounty.us, type newsletter in the search bar, or, of course, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, at Cabarrus County. And if you have family or friends that don't uh, have Spectrum Cable, can't watch us on Channel 22, or you just want to watch us when you get a chance, just go to cabarruscounty.us slash Cabco TV. You can watch our shows on demand, or you can stream the channel 24-7. And I tell you, this is a great, the paint shop in particular is a great opportunity. If you've got a small room that you want to paint, it's free. That's just right. come here. Remember, That's great. Remember, the facility is open first Wednesday, third Saturday. There are some exceptions for holidays, but otherwise, there's always a steady stream. So be part of the solution. Absolutely. And until next week, you have a great one. Take care. <laughs>